one of the really great things you did as dean is you expanded the offerings that students could could take. So you expanded into brain science, higher education, technology. You know, what made you decide to, to expand our programs in that way? And at the time, we had a general master's program where you could come and basically do anything you want, which I thought was a great program for people who had a, it was kind of like a Harvard candy store program. They could come and they take any courses that they want. And for people who were motivated, knew what they were looking for, uh, it was wonderful. But by having a series of specialized programs, you had more choices for people. They could take the wide open one or they could take them. So we saw it as a potentially, uh, as a re recruiting device. Also, I want to emphasize that I think one of the major roles a place like Harvard can play is identifying areas in education or more broadly that are really important. And by doing things, you know, people stand up and, and look and pay attention. Uh, and we did that with brain science. We were kind of ahead of the game yes. on that. Uh, but also, one of the things we did uh, as part of those set of programs uh, um, was a program on the arts. And that, we had really wonderful people in Project Zero and so on around that, but that was intended as a symbolic act because that was a time when there was a lot of talk about getting rid of arts in the schools. And we thought we could have influence not only by preparing people in that area, but by standing up and... Um, Saying just how important it is. How important it is. Similarly, uh, um, which happened at, at the end of when Pat was, was dean up, but I was involved in, which was a set up of the Urban Superintendents Program. That was a, we did that quite self-consciously as a symbolic act, that there was a lot of talk about not enough being done around urban activities, and a lot of talk about the superintendent's role not being important. So we thought we could play a role in training those people, but we could also play a role, say Harvard is doing this because they're really saying being a superintendent is really an important job and focusing on urban areas is a really important job. So, so for a variety of reasons, for recruitment reasons, for symbolic reasons, uh, for financial reasons, and so on, we, we got involved. And basically the way it worked was, you know, we identified, you know, you, there's always more things that can be done. Uh, so you, being dean, you got to figure out, you know, what is interesting, but can, with a little bit of support, can take off. There is a degree to which Harvard can send signals and be an example. Exactly. And you've given several of, of constantly trying to innovate and evolve co according to the needs. The U Urban Superintendents Program, um, which now has a long history, and I, I think of all of our alums who are out there leading districts and how the superintendency has evolved and just how important that program was and how it's grown and morphed to the EDLD. But I remember the debates about that. I mean, that was at a at a time when really, is it important to have superintendents? Is there something wrong with, with that role? Is that role outdated? Should we put, put our money elsewhere? And also a lot of it, should we be paying attention to urban schools? Well, it was a stand taken by the school. Urban, you got to put it, schools are really important. It's important to focus on urban schools. Administrative roles, leadership, really important. So we put it to, to, together. So those kind of things are a function of kind of what's going on in the school, what's available in terms of talent, but to kind of looking out at the world and what kind of statement do you want to make to the broader world about what I think is really important. And, and brain we, science, another one, where you're just kind of ahead of the field in naming this. Exactly. And knowing that you can play that role, you kind of, you're able to kind of make, give permission to other people. I mean, we thought about what that with the arts. I mean, there were a lot of people who saw their art programs in the schools going down the drain, and they were struggling to have some kind of justification for pushing and convincing their school boards they ought to do it. And they could point to Harvard. Harvard just started, really, and point. To, and, and we're investing in this area. We're invest exactly, exactly. So it, it, it legitimized activities beyond, way beyond. So they were preparation programs, but they were also programs that kind of uh, produce a ripple effect throughout the system. Now, I don't want to overplay Harvard's role in these things, but you, but sometimes you can legitimize things in a way that it really can make a difference. And at least we aspire to do that. Mm -hmm.